Welcome to ModX tutorial where we're going to discuss how to migrate websites, uh, a ModX website from one server to another. Uh, a lot of times whenever we do migrations what we'll typically find is we'll end up with a uh, 503 error or some other type of error that begin, becomes really frustrating and it can sometimes take a lot of time to figure out and diagnose why the site that we just migrated, the ModX site that we just built, it works fine on one server, we move it to a new server, we try to run the setup and everything just all of a sudden becomes problematic and we have to spend a lot of time trying to debug and uh, fix it to get it to work on the new server. So in this tutorial what I'm going to cover is basically uh, an easier way to handle migrations where you can typically do this in about 10 minutes for ModX Revo. Uh, it does require a little work as opposed to just copying files over, writing a setup and then being done. You actually have to do a few more steps but this is about the only way I've really found to find a sure way to make sure that the migration uh, runs smoothly and not having to spend you know, 30, 45 minutes, an hour trying to debug and figure out why does it work on the new server. So here's our scenario. Um, we built this website here on the ModX cloud. Everything ran fine. It works good. And uh, let's just say, for example, the client wants to move it to a different server. So we have a development server and uh, I've got an IP address and I've got this migrate directory here and uh, let's take a look on the um, server here what we've got. I've got two directories uh, migrate and these are all the files that I've migrated over from the old server uh, that we did the initial development on and everything ran fine there. I just copied this um, over here to this server um, and then we have ModX 2.33 at the time of this video. This is the newest version of ModX. And so here's what I want to do. The first step is I want to run a new setup for ModX. And so what I'll do is I'll just move that into the top directory there. And uh, let's go ahead and run through the steps that are pretty basic. Uh, we'll refresh this page. And uh, as you see, this is a 503 error that we get a lot of times. Obviously, it's asking for you to run the setup, but uh, it's not common when we do these uh, new migrations, we get the 503. So let's go ahead and start with the setup. Um, obviously you choose your languages and you'll go through the different steps in this case we're going to do a new installation and um, you know of course adjust your settings here um, with all your different configuration I've already set up my uh, database I've signed the username and done all that and that's something you can easily do on your end so go into your either your cPanel or on the command line and set up the username the database the permissions etc and so I'll just walk through this real quick. I'm going to put in my password here and then the database name. So this is important to note. The database that I initially set up on my server is just an empty one. It's just I'm calling it migrate or you know you can call it whatever you want. You're not going to end up using it. This just really allows you to run the initial setup. So what we're looking here is uh, you know our username, our password, and just an empty database. And so I'll go ahead and test everything, make sure we're all good. I'm going to set mine to UTF-8 and um, the UTF-8 uh, UTF bin. And let's see here. We got a lot of options. So let's come down here. Okay. So let's go ahead and test it. And everything looks good. And I'll just set, you know, just an admin username and then um, my personal email address. Okay. Let's go ahead and go through the setup process here and um, mod x is just checking your server making sure everything's good no problems all right let's go ahead and install it all right everything ran through uh, successfully and let's go ahead and uh, log in just make sure there's no issues before we proceed because a lot of times when you move to a new server environment you'll run into uh, problems that could have been easily been resolved um, at the just kind of blank level, so to speak. A lot of times a client will come to us and say, hey, you know, can you install ModX on our server? We need you to build a ModX site, but we want to use our server. And so what we do first is we just go and set up a blank or an empty ModX site, just like I'm doing here. Just, you know, we're running through, making sure, you know, that, hey, there's no issues that we see that when we log in, uh, you, know, the, you know, there's not errors being thrown left or right or that we're not having any permission issues. So... Uh, we'll go ahead and log in, and uh, what for whatever reason the server can sometimes be a little slow, but here we are. We're logged in. Everything looks good. Uh, typically, again, what I'll do when I'm going into a new server is I'll just kind of quickly go over and uh, just you know uh, download an extra real quick. Just make sure there's no problems 
Um, and so we'll go ahead and hit download here. And uh, while that's running, yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's go back to package management. And um, let's come back to that screen again real quick. I don't know where that went. Let's try that one more time. Let's go ahead and hit install. Okay, so there it is. Everything's good. Uh, no real surprises. You know, the installer works. Um, our pages, they're loading. Everything's good. Okay, so we've established a baseline. Everything looks good. No problems. All right, so here's the next step that you should take. Um, if uh, Let's go ahead and hit refresh here. And um, here are all the files that we have from our old server that we migrated over. I just put them here in this directory called migrate. Now, this is the first step I begin to take whenever I either do, uh, and these steps that I'm uh, showing you, these also can be used for an upgrade. Um, whenever you're going from, let's say you're going from 2.31 to 2.33 or whatever version, I also follow these same steps that I'm taking you through right now. Um, assuming, let's just say you have, you know, um, a mod X upgrade that you're doing. Um, a lot of times, in the you know, people just they'll take a mod X site or a, uh, you know, just mod X file, zip file, the newest version. They'll bring it in here and they'll just unzip it and you know, just let everything uh, kind of overwrite. Uh, that's not really a good approach either. So what I do next, and again, this what I'm explaining for this uh, migration also applies for upgrades, is I will go into the different directories and move um, the files over uh, from my old site. So we have our client files in here. We've got templates, and let's go ahead and move that real quick over here. Now, if you open up components, you'll probably see there's a lot of additional ones, obviously. So let's go ahead and um, we'll just move all these over right here to components and uh, this tiny MC I think what I will do is we can delete that one out because we're not really using that one in this example we we're just using that for a quick test so I'll just go into that directory real quick and um, let's see let me just now I'll do a quick remove on that Okay, so I've taken that one out. Okay, so I just moved those files out of the assets, so everything's good there. And what I'll a lot of times do to just make life easier for me um, is I will just put an underscore of the showing the directory where I've moved everything out of. So that way I'm like, oh, did I get everything out of there? Yeah, I did. So we're all good there. Okay, then I'll come down to the next directory, connectors, and let's just crack those two open and see, hey, do you know is there anything in here that I need to bring over from the old uh, to the new? No, looks good. So we don't need to migrate or move anything out of the connectors directory. And let's go to the next one, uh, core. Same thing, I do kind of a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, you will notice for components, you'll probably have all your different plugins and stuff that you ran on your old site. So you'll need to bring those over as well. So let's go ahead and copy that into the components, or rather move them over, not copy. So same thing, I want to delete out, um, let's see, I will move out, uh, let's go into CD core, and then CD components, and then let's uh, remove that tiny MC ERT, okay. And that was, I'm sorry, what I just deleted out was that a uh, plugin that I just installed in the initial test run. Okay. So what's next? Um, we've gotten components, the config file, we'll handle that in just a minute. Um, and let's look at here, anything else? Packages, yeah. Uh, you'll have all your old packages from your old migration or your old site. And I'll just do the same thing. I'll just, um, you know. I'll copy those over and again just to lead out this uh, other plugin that we installed initially because we're not going to be using that. So let's go ahead and um, let's copy all of these out of packages. Let me just drag this up. All right, packages. There we go. And um, let's see, let me skip that. I'm sorry, what did I do here? Let me come back here. Packages. Oh, it's got the core in there. I don't want. To, I don't want to overwrite the new core. Let me see. Try that one more time. 
Okay, so I will take packages and let's try and drag that over. And okay, so that's now been moved over. Um, so we're good there. XPDO, you can leave that alone. Okay, so again, I'm going to mark that one as kind of like, hey, I'm done with you. So I'll put an underscore. All right. Um, obviously, you may have uh, your other files ha hanging around like your favicon, um, any of these other files that you maybe have, and we'll go ahead and move those up to the top level as well. Okay, um, it looks like we got all the files out that we wanted from the old site over into the new. Now, this is where um, I will run another, and let me, I probably should have left that setup file on there. Let me see here. Let me come into ModX 2.3. I'm going to, what I'm about to do is I need that setup file again um, in the 2.3. Uh, I'm doing a 2.3 uh, ModX installation. So, what I'm going to do is I need that setup file. And it was deleted a second ago because we ran the setup. So, let me just do this real quick. I'm going to, um, let me see here, close that out. Let me see the up to the top directory here. Okay, and then let's do an unzip real quick on that mod X. And I want that, um, I'm gonna get that setup file there. I'm gonna just remove, just move that, remove that mod X directory as well as this zip file because we don't need those. Okay. So let me explain what I'm about to do now. Um, earlier, when we did the initial setup, we uh, connected to a database that was empty, and we ran the setup, and everything ran fine. What we've just done over the last few minutes is we've moved the files over from our site that we just migrated, and we basically copied all, or rather moved all the files into a clean ModX install. All the files that you need, your uh, clients, assets, your template assets, your components, um, all the plugins, everything. So now we've effectively moved all the important files in to this uh, new setup that we have. The very last step that we have to take is we have to now tell the uh, database, hey, point to um, our new or to the new database. And so what I did before I started this video is I copied my database from my old site. Uh, the old server over to the new server, and I, you know, whether you want to use PHP, uh, my admin, or however you want to import that database to set it up. So I've gone ahead and done that, and I've set this here up uh, in my PHP, my admin, the my 619 main. I've set that up there. So that's the uh, database from the uh, the old server. So the next step then will be is to come over here. This database here is my new uh, database that I want to connect to. So effectively, what I'm going to tell ModX is, hey, you know, move away from the old database and let's go to the new database. And you have to up update it in two places here. We'll do here and here. Okay, save it. Um, we don't have to change anything down here because all these file paths are already set up. Everything looks good there. We're not having to change any of that. We don't have to obviously change any of our config files anywhere else because these are all set up correctly. Okay, so this the next step will be to run the setup again. So let's come back over here to setup, and what ModX is going to ask is, you know, are you um, wanting to do, I believe, an upgrade? Yep, upgrade. So you know, yeah, sure, let's do an upgrade. Technically, we're not because we're just going from one 2.3 to you know three to to another 2.33. So there's really no upgrade, but we're just telling you know we want to run this to uh, make sure everything's good, all the file paths are correct in the database, and you know there's no uh, surprises or anything like that. So I went ahead and hit OK. Installation successful. Uh, let's go ahead and log in here and um, use the login information from your old site. Let me refresh that one more time. Sometimes that happens. Let me come over here real quick. Let me try it on a different browser. I know before sometimes um,
Okay. Yeah, Chrome does that sometimes. I'm not sure why. If you it'll store a session in the browser, it just will not let you log in. So I'll have to hop over to a different browser real quick to log in. So okay. So crisis averted. Uh, we are now in the new backend, or rather the backend that we just moved over, and migrated over. So everything ran fine. Um, Let's crack open the front of the site and make sure everything looks good. There's no errors being thrown or anything like that. And uh, sure enough, yeah, everything looks good. The site's loading, no 503s, none of that. Um, while that's, you know, probably took me about five or, or about 10 minutes to do all that, you'll learn, you know, just as you do this over and over, you'll get faster and faster at it. Uh, so really those are the steps I take. The key uh, was the explanation that I gave earlier where I was going through and just copying files over to, you know, a new setup. And um, that's about it. You know, I've been doing this for uh, doing several hundred mod X uh, migrations over the years. And with the Rebo, this is about the only approach I found that's like bulletproof. And again, maybe issues will come up, but you can find those issues really quickly whenever you're doing the initial setup with just a blank mod X setup versus just trying to copy everything over and running a setup uh, just rarely works uh, smoothly. So I hope this helps.